Warlord representing for Horain Freestyle Adventures. What am I saying? Tell them fix them dentures. Kaboom. Freestyle, as you know, it's election time in Jamaica and everybody out campaigning because at the end of the day, no one wants to be a loser. In this video coming up, Andrew Owens keep a big conference in Portland and Freestyle Nation. It was like a party vibes. Andrew drop a big massacre dub and mash up the whole place. Now freestyle nation, we're not going to target out, we're just going to run the video and you see what I'm going for yourself. But in the meantime, freestyle nation, remember, don't vote for party, vote for policies. You know the vibes, freestyle. Last night, I went to visit one of our workers 
He was also the victim of an accident when she lost her leg. He was crushed. Quite different circumstances. Boulders fell off um, and rolled onto a truck and damaged her leg. She had an amputation. Leaving me this time. So I want to say to all of you here, when we need to call you out to come and campaign, I have a responsibility to make sure that whatever we do, it is done orderly and it is done with your safety and security in mind. You must come to a political campaign and leave here less than you did. When you come to this meeting, you must be uplifted. This is not a general election. But such man has converted this into a general election. I don't understand that political calculus because local government election should stand on its own. But having converted it, we are we are feeling the town square of Port Antonio for a local government election. It is quite obvious that that was a miscalculation. Who tell him we got trouble we have a party access? is never written as it happens. It takes some time for historians to be able to reflect on what has happened and place it into context. There is a change taking place in Jamaica and in Jamaican politics that our academics and intellectuals have not yet caught on to it, nor have they had an opportunity to reflect on it and write about it. For the first time, you have a government that can campaign on its record of performance and achievement. For the first time, you have a government that does not need to come to you and say, baby, baby, I'm going to give you the sun, the moon, and the star. For the first time, you have a government that can say, we are going to build a new town center for Portland, Port Antonio. One hundred and forty thousand square feet of space is going to be built. It will have facilities for your convenience. It will have 65,000 square feet of space for BPO, business process outsourcing. It will employ 3,000 people. It will help to lessen congestion in your town. It will help with creating or space for development in your town. And then 
We have already scoped, designed, identified the alignment, and identified the lands which we have needed to be acquired to build a bypass for Port Antonio. The bypass, the bypass will start at Bongo, it will go through the hills, and it will drop out in Boston. Hold on. It will unlock 3,000 acres of land. That 3,000 acres of land will be used for affordable housing. Yes, so people like you here will be able to afford a properly built house in a proper community with proper facilities. Now, you know a place named Paisley Gardens, Pastor Gardens, I say Paisley, but it's Pastor Gardens. I make sure I have a note for you. The NHC falls under my supervision. Every day, Minister Vaz harassed me about this project. We will be building 664 housing solutions here. We have done all the engineering and architectural designs, and we are now in the process of finalizing the acquisition of the lands. So this is not a promise. This is, these are things that are in trade. No, no, we don't have a pipeline. We have a train line of things. <laughs> So, Amory, we have 140 housing solutions now will be planned and developed. In Norwich. And we expect to start work on that within the next 16 months. Why you understand them? Who only patterns are one? But no father will hear them say. Your government is working for you and your community. You want to place the inferior? The UDC has some lands inferior. Lands in their city down are not being used. I have given them instructions to put the land into housing development. With about 200 acres, we should be able to have about 300 housing solutions here. The proceeds from that oil will be used to make the Winifred Beach a state-of-the-art, most modern public beach there is in Jamaica. That That is already being worked on. So we intend to make sure that the people of Portland have access. We have beautiful beaches in Beautiful beaches. But you know, just want to the beach up. We want to be able to have proper bathrooms when you go there, proper entertainment facilities. If you have kids, you want them to have a little playground. So we are going to develop beautiful beach into a modern beach park for the people.
Vous avez aimé cette semaine-là. Is it a problem now? Pastor Lee, yes. Come down, you tell me, go Pastor. Pastor Lee was going to be taken back and become a public beast. You are tired. You can't be going on top of your car. But, you suffer from that whole time. We are a member of Parliament and the Prime Minister. Pastor Lee must go on. is being done. We are a government that campaigns on our record of achievement. Now, I want you to link everything that I'm saying. We do the South Coast Road Improvement Project, which connects, listen to this, it literally connects Port Royal in Kingston through to Harbourview through Yalas to the Moran Bay Urban Center the new urban center that we are building already started building going up like crazy the same thing we are going to do here at Bowbro we are going to redevelop the town of Moran Bay into a historic town with a museum and then we are redeveloping really all those lovely roads coming around. There are some bad roads here, but we are ready to put those out to be repaired. Come all the way around, pass and sand, come all the way right into Port and Co. That is what we call a corridor of development. We will be able to bring tourists and visitors who can come into Port Royal or they can come into Norman and they can make their way all the way along our beautiful coastline through the parish of St. Thomas and end up right here. But the development is really anchored right here because you have two of the best harbors beautiful some problems however because of the depth the ships are always coming but we have now put in place the development plan to develop the east harbor into a proper cruise ship pier so we are going to solve the problem of bringing in cruise shipping into the town of Port We have hired one of the best architects and town planners in the world, a Jamaican, his name is Gordon and he has already started to do the master plan for the entire town of Port Antonio and its environment. Some of you may already see them going around, asking your questions, they're looking at some of the land, talking to people who live in some of the areas, because when we do the development, it is not about this place in you. It is not about taking you and dispossessing you of your property or your land or your It is about how do we develop what we have so that you can benefit from it, but bringing more people, more business to benefit from it. 
one of the things that we want to do with your lovely talk. Some of you may not even know this, but many movies are shot right here in Port Antonio. You didn't know that? There is a big movie now called Black Cave. I don't know any of you have ever seen it. Shot right here, beautiful in Port Antonio. You to make a scene, they say, I put that down there? Yes. Your town has the potential to become a location for movie development right here. So, I so we're going to, as we plan the development of the town, we're going to bring in now a new industry, which is movie and film, to be done right here in your town of Portland. I'm not going to say too much about the market. You see that the work has started to repair the market. And I'm not going to go too much further because I have to leave some of the things to my own budget presentation. But I wanted to say all of that so that you know what is in store for your town. Because all of what I have said are local issues. More housing, over thousand housing solutions are going to come into your town of Port Antonio. An entirely new urban center. So Freestyle Nation, here you have it. It's your constitution right to go out and cast your vote. Keep the election safe and fair. And as I always said, vote for policies and not party. Until next time, freestyle. Catch you in the next one. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. You know the vibes, freestyle.